This is the moment that everything has built up to. Asylum seekers, migrants emerging, taking their first steps on U.S. soil, crossing this razor wire set here by the state of Texas. <gasps> oh no, we just have a woman who fell. She's still smiling as she, she emerges because she's just scrambled up the steep banks of the Rio Grande River, which is what's separating us on U.S. soil from Mexico on the other side. And many others are in the water behind her, crossing, holding on to each other's hands, helping each other up these banks. These are the scenes that are playing out on a daily basis, minute by minute here in Eagle Pass, Texas, which has become the epicenter of what some are calling the migrant crisis for the United States. Many of these people have been telling me they're from Venezuela, having traversed the jungle in Panama and the gang territory of Mexico to arrive at this point. And once they are here on U.S. soil, they plan to look for U.S. immigration officers in order to turn themselves in. The vast majority say they want to seek asylum in the United States because they say their home countries are ruled by dictatorships or have economies that are unsustainable for raising their children. But what they also emerge into here is a politically charged conflict. These wires behind me that are giving people so much trouble as we speak, this has been put here by state police who obey the governor of Texas. U.S. Border Patrol, which reports to Washington, they have been coming in here and cutting this wire at times when too many people are stuck on the other side to let them pass. And then state police or state soldiers come right back and put this all back. And of course, who is literally caught in the middle of all this? They're the people who are trying to take their steps onto U.S. soil after having sacrificed so much, hoping that this risk is worth it even though seeking asylum in the U.S. is a very difficult process and the vast majority, looking at the numbers from the past, will likely be deported to their home countries.